Today's video is Index Funds 101 and it doesn't matter if you're a beginner to investing or you have been investing for years, this video is for you. In this video, we will answer three questions. What is index funds, pros and cons of index funds and how to invest in them. Before we answer the first question, which is what is an index fund, we need to understand what an index is. And to explain what an index is, imagine that you're trying to understand how well students in your class are doing overall. You could look at each individual student's grade, but that would be lots of information. Instead, you can calculate the average grade for the entire class. This average tells you in a single number how well everyone is doing on average. And just like that average, an index has a similar function. But instead of for students, this time it's for companies and their stock price. So an index tracks the performance of a group of companies and one popular group is the top 500 companies in the US, which is called the S&P 500. So the index tells you how well those companies are doing as a group, but you cannot directly invest in an index. Instead, you invest in an index funds. I know that can be confusing, but just hold on, let me explain. You see, an index, just like I said, is a mathematical calculation and you can invest in calculus. But index funds mimic that mathematical calculation, which is the index. It mimics the makeup of that calculation by buying real stocks that that maths is tracking to give you the same results. So let's say the index goes up by 2%. Ideally, the index funds should also go up by 2%. But there is something called tracking error. And that means that if an index, for example, is 7%, it's practically impossible to see a fund that is also 7%. So tracking error is how far off the fund is from the index. And usually you choose a fund that tracks very closely to the index. It doesn't make sense that an index fund is way off the index that it tracks. So the lower that number, the better the index funds. So now the pros and cons of index funds. We'll start with the advantages. And the first advantage of an index fund is diversification. Because you are holding diverse stocks in line with your chosen index, you essentially spread the risks and you are not dependent on the performance of a single company. Another advantage is low cost. Index funds typically have lower costs associated with them because it's passively run. All it does is track its chosen index and mimics it. Unlike active funds that involves a fund manager that needs to pick and choose, and that makes it very expensive. And also, you could say that index funds put money back in your pocket because you're going to pay for the fees of those active managers, which takes out of what you would have made from the market. And ideally, most of these active managers don't even beat the market in the first place. The third advantage of an index fund is transparency. The holdings of an index fund is publicly known and their performance is directly linked to the tracked index. This allows for clear and easy understanding of where your money is being invested and how it's performing. Another advantage is convenience. Index funds require minimal efforts to manage. Once you choose a fund that aligns with your goals, you can hold it for as long as you like without needing to constantly monitor or adjust your portfolio. Another advantage is potentially higher long-term returns. Like I said earlier, studies have shown that index funds often outperform actively managed funds over the long term, and that's because of their low costs and the focus on the overall market, which historically tends upward. Another advantage is tax efficiency. Many index funds are tax efficient due to their passive management style. The disadvantages of index funds. Because index funds are passively managed, their performance is directly tied to that index. So what that means is an index fund would never outperform the index. Another con is that you can't pick and choose stocks in an index. So if you're buying the bunch, you can't take out a bad performing stock. You buy both the good and the bad and you're stuck with it. And lastly, which some people will call a disadvantage, is index funds are boring. Despite all of these disadvantages, I believe most people should actually invest in an index fund simply because you don't have the skill and expertise to do the proper research to pick the right stocks that would win. 
and also you're not just picking stocks and buying you need to also do your research to know when to sell picking individual stocks is more than just buying you also need to exit the market at the right time and because a lot of people don't have the skill to do this consistently for the long term it's better to just buy index funds and as we have said earlier even the data shows that even those that do this for a living a lot of them hardly beat a global index funds that just tracks the whole market if you're getting value please do like and subscribe it tells youtube that you're getting value and it also helps the channel reach more people the last question we want to address is how to invest in index funds we have a detailed video about how to invest in index funds and also how to invest using the vanguard platform all those videos will be linked in the description before we list the steps below remember to do your research and consider fees in each and every step fees could cost you as much as a million pounds or dollars if you're watching from the us four steps to invest in an index fund number one you choose your platform this could be a brokerage firm or a robo advisor once you pick a platform that offers low fees you need to choose your account, which is the next step. It's always better to choose to invest through a tax advantage account first, as much as you, you can. And the third step will be to choose your funds. I always advise people to go for lower fees, a global index funds. And lastly is to automate your contribution. This could literally be the difference maker for you. You don't have to think about it. All you just need to do is to set it and forget it and then you can go have fun and know that your money is working for you and being invested i hope you like this video and if you do don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe see you in the next one